Hi Leos, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your second half of April 2018 reading. Um, so welcome if you're new. Uh, welcome back to everyone who's been uh, with me from the beginning. My two year anniversary will be April 7th, which I'm very excited about. Uh, thank you for those of you who come to me for weekly, monthly, and yearly readings, who donate, who uh, comment, and especially to those who, after your personal readings, you write and tell me how, as you let spirit guide you in your path here on earth, how things have become so much more fulfilling and joyful and happy. Uh, there's more knowledge at your fingertips as to how to make de decisions and take the steps ahead. So thank you for that as well. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 25,000, but we've got like four days left. So I got really close. Thank you to those who have subscribed. And uh, let's get going. Now I got a brand new couple few decks yesterday. Um, and this one with the happy, happy card is uh, from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed who's becoming my very favorite. Uh, with the Nine of Cups energies in combination with that, this is a wish coming true that's making you guys happy, happy, happy. All right, in your mental aspects position of the circle spread in front of me, we've got chopped wood. So having to get through to the other side of something, having to take the steps that you need to take to clean up where you're at and to maybe get ready to open your heart to someone starting a new life somewhere or someone's making an offer of love to you. Now this person may have only offered a tiny bit of their love. You know, there's only been a little bit of communication and we're trying to chop the wood and get to the other side to figure out, is this going to grow into more than what it just seems to be, which is maybe a kind message here or there? Or should I just adore it for how sweet it is? Because it does bring me peace. It, it makes me feel happy. Even if this person is being cunning or sly, even if this person is maybe not a completely honest energy spirit saying in your relationship sector that time is flowing in a way by which spirit is trying to guide it for you for some of you not all of you it's because you're stuck or you feel stuck you know the eight of swords is a figment of your imagination we're not really stuck Time has just slowed down so spirit can line up divine guidance here in the next couple. In the middle of April, maybe the third or fourth week. So here you guys are wanting to follow this new and exciting passionate path, feeling like this is karmic. Uh, you know, peace, finding peace by being able to go and maybe offer this exciting new path to someone or spirits offering it to you guys. A wish is coming true when it comes to passion, when it comes to excitement, when it comes to a new direction, when it comes to maybe a love offer. In your actions position, know that with the leg up energy, spirit saying that you two came together uh, to help one another, to let go of old battles and struggles of your past. And now in your emotional aspects position, we've got energies of chaos and conflict instead of peace. Why? Because maybe you guys aren't returning each other's messages. You're waiting for your ship to come in and it's frustrating. It feels like a burden at times. Now in your subconscious, it's about connecting to your tribe. Who are the people for me? What is the path? Where do I belong? Subconsciously, you've got the two of swords saying, I want to make a decision, but I have kept myself trapped in my thoughts inside or outside of a situation because I know that spirit is going to lead me in the right direction and make my wishes come true. So I'm going to try and do the research. I'm going to stand up and take my blindfold off and step into a new direction. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, you guys are poised and ready to accept this new passionate path. You've come a long way 
and now you guys are recognizing how far you've come, what it is that you've experienced in your path. Give yourself a pat on the back. Even if it's not successfully, it's making, through, making it through a uh, lot of experience and being able to now collect all of that, step into a new beginning and manifest something that is much more fulfilling and happy tied to this wish come true. And look at that. Feeling like that. And having peace and passion in your foundation. You have the inner strengths to recognize the treasured island for what it is. Okay. Maybe you imagined it to be more and now you have it in the next four to six weeks. It's like you're bringing a gift to someone and saying, do you want to step into this path with me? But you or someone else may be up in your head a little bit too much. You or someone else may say, you know, I know that we were brought together to help each other out. But I have treasured this for a long period of time. And the movement has been so slow that it's hard to acknowledge what this is. I feel like the other person is looking at you guys saying, <clears throat> I closed a chapter on this because there was no communication. And I started to believe that with no messages coming back, this was becoming more of a burden than the ability to find peace and excitement and helping each other and offering your heart. So what are we going to do with this burden? In the first couple weeks, you guys are between worlds. Trying to figure out where you've been so that you know exactly where it is you're going because of what you have learned. Someone may be offering a gift to someone else or a very kind word. And Spirit's saying to you guys that there is some sort of deep knowing. You guys have gone the distance. You have experienced your life path. You can see more clearly because you've done the work. So the question is, in the next two to three, uh, I'm sorry, in the middle of April, towards the end of April, we've got round and round. Am I going to go back around a mountain by which I always end up getting hurt? Or am I going to pray to spirit and trust that spirit is going to bring a, the right person in for me? Their message to some of you, not all of you, is that if someone leaves you feeling alone at times, they're not the one for you. It's a time to be flexible. It's a time to do what Jesus would do. It's a time to come to the edge and at least look at a situation for what it truly is. Because then you will find time to breathe. You will find that you've been blessed with a spiritual connection. And know that, that uh, when it comes to other people, all we can do is remain an observer. We can't control them. We can't control their life path. We can't control what's going on with them. But what we can do... Oh, sugar, where do we start off over here? is take a time to rest and to wait until there is a change in the wind and to ask yourself why why am I waiting is this path going to grow in the future or is it time to go someone may be imagining co Creation coming together and manifesting something with someone who is maybe a karmic soulmate. And you may be feeling like, oh my gosh, how long can I hang in here? But you can build a new life with someone if you head into that and communicate that and share your heart very wide openly which may be difficult for someone here is what I'm feeling. So it could very well be that you guys are connecting with someone from your past or with someone that you had children with or both. And you're between worlds.
Spirit's saying, now is the time to listen to your higher power before making any decisions when it comes to this karmic connection. At some point, there will be a change in the wind as you are patient, as you are with your family, as you are contemplating things, as you are recognizing the beautiful things around you and are waiting for yourself to release yourself, to come together with others in a peaceful way, whereby which you can discuss a future of love. So love is at question here. I think it's all been about a passionate connection, but when it comes right down to it, what is it that you're truly wishing for? Are you wishing for heartache to go through a situation that is going to inevitably cause you heartache? Now for clarification, I'm going to... Woo! Okay. Wow. I'm going to bring in... I just had a bunch of messages rush. Okay, so there might be more than one energy here that I'm feeling. But I'm going to continue. This is the Healing Yourself deck by Ina Segal. When it comes to love and romance spirit, and this is at 1137. What is it that those born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Gemini need to know when it comes to this life path here on earth at this time? From the mid of April to the end of April 2018. Some of you are just like so, so happy to have this connection to make a wish come true when it comes to your passion and the, or the passion of someone else. There's a very wild abandon of energies here. And, uh, you know, steps are going to have to be taken. Clarity is going to have to be made. Is there love on offer or isn't there? Is there a financially abundant offer available or not? Is it true? Recognize your cycles or the cycles of others in the first, well, in the middle of April 2018. Cycles are something that are a part of our paths, okay? They're about something we do over and over again, only coming back to the same unfulfilled results. And once we can recognize these cycles, we can stop them and do something completely different. And Spirit's saying what's different for some of you, not all of you, whomever's energies I'm reading for this general reading, are needing to find yourself in a poised and peaceful energy where you can think things through when it comes to moving ahead. Knowing you're not trapped, but taking the time to understand that other people are going through their own things in their own path. And that may be why messages may have come in slowly. All right, so in your cycles position, here we have doing the work, recognizing cycles, and in your relationship sector, feeling stuck, waiting for time. So if that's the case, and those are your energies, unleash your creativity. How are you going to creatively manifest something in your own path that can involve your sole purpose? What is it you can do? Is it art? Is it giving to charity? Is it helping out at church? Is it, you know, something whereby which you can help others? This is a time and almost even what I'm feeling a call for you guys to uh, build up those karmic positive energies by doing something for others. That's what's going to bring you this peaceful energy in your creative aspects position. That's what's going to get you guys very excited about a new path, a new direction in your life. Yes, Spirit's saying this is all about... In the second half of April 2018, this is about self-love. Self-love will bring you peace. It will bring you happiness. It will eventually allow this wild abandon to manifest in your path. But in your actions position, remember not to burn bridges, okay? Just because there are rejection energies here by the end of April, early May. Remember, the reason you came together was to learn about one another. Well, I mean, learn about yourselves 
through one another, okay? We connect with others to learn about our own path and then we climb that path spiritually depending on the choices we make. So for some of you, not all of you, emotionally you may have been feeling chaos and conflict because you didn't receive a message back. And Spirit's saying that someone who's passed before you or just Spirit guides around you and God are here to help you when it comes to this inner conflict. When, that's why they're saying focus on self-love at this time. Because we can't step into a partnership with someone if we don't love ourselves a hundred percent right so how can we do that we can create a hobby and share it with others we can go and give charity we can do a lot of things for others instruct and help others with the knowledge we have acquired in our path so subconsciously there's some difficult choice when it comes to maybe the family you're with now wanting to move into a new family direction wanting to move into a new financial direction because some of you whether you know the situation is good or bad there's a very attractive energy that you want to release your creativity with when it comes to a feminine energy. So either this is you guys trying to release yourself from where you have been and follow your wild ab abandon and find happiness and a wish coming true, but you're stuck waiting for uh, spiritual guidance. In the meantime, focus on, you know, how you're gonna take these steps it's not the right time in the end of April 2018. You are poised though to step into a new direction and to create greater fulfillment in your life. But take off that mask. Love yourself. Make sure you're not or someone else isn't trying to be the person for you instead of to be themselves. Because in the outcome position, in your inner strengths position, the treasure island is a goal, a direction, a desire. Someone's moving slowly towards that goal, that desire, that treasure. And Spirit's saying, you will have the strength of the pride card. Am I following this happy desire, even though there may be rejection because of my ego? Or am I proud of of who I am to the point where I can have a happy connection with someone and understand that if something doesn't turn out, it's because we were meant to come together to heal first. But that over a period of time, the ego, the, the mask we need to take off can fall away and we can go deeper with the connection. This person could come into your path in the next, could take into the middle of May. But some of you may feel energies of rejection or may just be feeling energies of rejection because you are unsure of what is truly here. I mean, really, wishes are coming true, but the love offer is really small. There's passion here, but is that the same thing? All right, so I'm going to pull in some spiritual guidance here with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed. And then we'll pull a card from the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild to close with. So your spiritual guidance, okay, so this path of wanting wishes to come true with wild abandon and happiness has to do with your self-worth at this time. We'll get more information here. Some of you are trying to clean up old cycles when it comes to a love offer. Some of you may be making an offer to a deceptive energy or someone's making an offer to you who is deceptive. In your relationship sector, you're not stuck. Spirit is working on your life path with you to line up divine opportunities. But they want you to unleash, unleash your creativity and do something that will build your own self-worth in your own path where you're at now. Feeling beautiful. Because there's a doorway here in the next couple few weeks that is blocked by a cement wall. And the forbidden energies speak of the reason it's blocked. And that is to protect you guys. So you're not stuck, you're being protected 
in your relationship sector. In your creative aspects position, it's about self-love. It's about finding peace and a new exciting direction for yourself because this deceptive energy and self-worth here is a reminder for some of you, it's a reminder of what happened in the past or it's a reminder now to remember what's taking place now and to apply this in the future when you need it. It's a tombstone that says, don't forget. Don't forget the deceptive energies. In your actions position, there's going to be rejection. There's going to be a connection, but I think it's to help each other heal from past anger. And Spirit's saying, when this rejection comes up, whether it's yours or someone else. It may be a little chaotic for some reason. Maybe you were so busy trying to connect out to someone that you guys forgot about your own boundaries when it comes to chaos and conflict. Or you're gonna be happy, because now you watched the video, that ahead of time you started to speak your boundaries with this situation that could turn into a burden. Subconsciously, the, you know, there's beauty, there's here's where I belong, am I beautiful, should I move on? And Spirit's saying subconsciously, you need to let go. This is about your self-worth and the doorway you want so badly to enter is forbidden. So in your inner strengths position, uh, in your practical day-to-day -day matters position, take off your mask and recognize that you are poised for success in your path. You have the warrior energies around you and within you to help you to receive peace and passion. But don't forget what transpired in the past. Don't forget that this path is about acquiring self-love, doing what you're proud of on a day-to-day -day basis, getting excited about goals and achievements, because some of you are wanting something so badly that's coming in so slowly that could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising, or a job opportunity. And the test is here. Are you going to follow your ego, which is going to cause chaos? Or are you going to find pride in what it is you're manifesting in your own path by yourself right now? that makes you proud to be who you are, that you can share with others. It's a time of setting a new vision for yourselves. It's a time of deciding, am I gonna go around the same mountain again? Or am I gonna change things up? Spirit's saying it's time to go, it's time to move on, it's time to move forward. When this change in the wind comes, something chaotic, you guys have the ability, because this card is on the bottom of the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, to summon in who and or what you want in your path and who and or what you do not want in your path. Because what you choose is what you will be dealing with for the next seven years or so. Yes, I feel like there is a love offer that some of you want very badly, but it is not the one for you. It's a soulmate to teach you. And if you have the strength to bring this soulmate connection to an end, then you can be blessed with new beginnings, better beginnings, more prosperity and love, because you'll be climbing to a higher spiritual level. So let me know how this turns out for you guys. Uh, if you'd like me to pull your personal energies, I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my prices are listed below. I'm going to be moving my uh, half-hour uh, readings from 45 to 55 uh, by April 7th as a gift to myself, because this is a very exhausting occupation, and it takes time away from my family. So uh, it makes me feel better to find the time also to give to those of you who give back to me clarification that the reason I'm here doing this every day, which I feel like is a helpful, loving, caring way to give to those around me, um, I just, I don't ever want to let this go. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God bless.